Good afternoon, I'm Caitlin Gallagher and welcome to Griffith University News. The world-renowned town of Byron Bay could soon become home to many more after the state government approved the town's first major housing development in over 20 years. Community groups and residents fear the town will lose its charm due to the lack of consultation between the developers and the public. Remus Vasellis reports. Scientists at Griffith University's Menzies Health Institute may be on the brink of something revolutionary. A new type of beer that actually rehydrates you could mean an end to hangovers and other symptoms of intoxication. Dale Borden reports. Even though the Muslim faith may have been portrayed negatively in the media since 9-11, the number of Australians converting to Islam is increasing at an annual growth rate of 3.8%. Genevieve Smith has the story. Biosecurity and local snake catchers are on the hunt for a Native American boa constrictor. The snake was mistakenly released at the spit by police and now the hunt is on to recapture it. Caitlin Gallagher reports. An expert team of craniofacial surgeons from the Adelaide Women and Children's Hospital are set to perform vital surgery next month and reconstruct a five-year-old boy's face. Sharka Hill with the story. Halal certified products have become the target of a national boycott campaign. Suggestions that profits from the halal certification are financing terrorism have seen consumers take matters into their own hands. Vicky Rados has this story. Now entering its 14th season, the annual Blues on Broadbeach Festival, held in and around the Broadbeach CBD, has received additional funding from large Gold Coast corporations. Promoters behind the festival have not dismissed claims that it's outgrowing one of promoters behind sorry guys <laughs> can you redo that one sorry the screen was jumping now entering its 14th stint the annual blues on broadbeach festival held in and around the broadbeach cbd has received additional funding from large gold coast corporations promoters behind the festival have not dismissed claims that it's outgrowing its one weekend stint Jake Wilton reports. Cosplay fans came together for the Supernova Pop Culture Expo at the Gold Coast. One highlight of the weekend is the cosplay parade where many get to dress up in their favourite character costumes. Teresa Lazemeyer was there to join in all the fun. Now to sport where Perth Glory suspension from the A-League Series final means Brisbane Roar will have the chance to defend their crown. The Premier's plate is on the line at Suncorp Stadium tomorrow night and some very important bragging rights. Paul Ayres reports. 